Greetings, my name is Elias Vick, and welcome to this episode here in 3D Studio Max on the Chamfer Modifier. Now, the Chamfer Modifier is one of the more useful modifiers that you can find in 3D Studio Max, and I use it quite a lot on a daily basis. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the modifier. So if we go up to the command panel here now, go to the modifier list and select Chamfer, we'll instantaneously get this effect on the box or the model that you have with a chamfered effect on the corners. Now, if we take a look at the chamfer options in the command panel, we have operations and we can change these to get different results of our chamfer. So if we go and select the quad chamfer, first of all, we'll get this line in between of our chamfer, on our chamfer here and we can then change the amount of our chamfer, add more segments and then increase and decrease the tension to get this rounded effect on our corners here. Rather simple. If we then go down here to the open chamfer, it's then going to remove these new chamfered edges that we just made. And I can also invert this effect by selecting invert. Now the standard chamfer is a bit more limited, but a bit more optimized, I would say. So instead of adding this line in between over here, as the first one did, it has just divided our one line here before into two different lines or edges. Same thing goes for here, you can change the amount and the segments is automatically going to round off the edges here. You can also select open chamfer to remove that newly created edge that you have in here. The problem is you can't invert this chamfer so you can only invert this effect when you have the chord chamfer selected. If we then go into editable poly again and select a couple of edges, let me go ahead and select this one right this one right here and this one. If I go back to chamfer again, we'll just get a chamfered effect on these two edges. In, in the selection menu down here you can change the selection so you can have selected edges that we just have. And you can just play around with these to get an effect that you want to get. You can also go down to all vertices and it's going to then use the vertices there and chamfer them instead. Now down here you have input options. You can you can actually select chamfering from from smoothing and also material IDs. Then what you can also do, which is actually quite interesting, is that you can have a material set to the new, newly chamfered edges that you have. So in my example, I just made a quick material down here. I have the entire model is white, as you can see here. And the second color on this material sub, uh, sub object here is black. And then we have a purple color down here. So what I can do now is I can increase the material, I can just first of all add the material onto the model and then if I increase the number here we'll get a different result on these corners here. So instead for you manually selecting these corners and adding material onto them you can use this function down here in the output options. The final thing that you can do if I just go back and make this one into an A more functioning chamfer here. Let me just go ahead and chamfer all the corners. That's pretty good. Now, if we now take a look at these corners here, these are really nicely smooth out and they look pretty good. So what you can do, if you want these corners to have a bit more of a hard edge, you can actually go down to smooth disable that and you'll get another effect and you can also decrease the tension or the smoothing to get this blocky type here. And that's about the entire thing for the chamfer modifier. The interesting part to know about this is that if I now go ahead and remove the chamfer modifier 
you can actually find most of the same things inside of your editable poly. So if I go ahead and select a couple of edges, all of them actually, and then go down to the category called Edit Edges, I can then go ahead and click on the Settings button for the chamfer, and I more or less get the same, same menu here to change and modify my edges. So I can have a standard or chord chamfer, I can increase and decrease the, the amount, I can add more edges, I can also change the tension of this, I can also go ahead and open the chamfer, I can invert the chamfer, I can sm disable the smoothing, and I can also have a different smoothing type, Oh, and I can also go ahead and uh, change the threshold for the smoothing here. So the same thing goes here. Oh, let me go ahead and apply that. Have these edges really, really hard. Right, so that is actually, for the most part, everything that you need to know about the chamfer modifier. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day, and I'll see you as soon as I can.